back to Baby Brains. Today, I am just going to show you a bunch of finger plays and bouncing rhymes and fun things you can do with your baby toddler or even preschooler. Um, so these kind of things are really fun to do with your uh, children. They have a good emotional connection, a good parent-child or caregiver-child interaction time. They're good for language development because a lot of them have rhymes and rhythm. And most importantly, they're just fun. So let's get started. I'm going to start with some bouncing rhymes, um, lap bounces, I guess you could call them. Um, so these are good for babies that can sit up and have some head and neck control because you don't want their heads wobbling all over. And you just want to start out slow and see how your baby likes it. Um, some babies like a little more vigorous bouncing. They think it's funny, especially as they get older and get more into the toddler stage. The first one I'm going to share with you goes like this. Horsey, horsey, don't you stop. Just let your feet go flippity up. Your tail goes swish and the wheels go round. Giddy up, giddy up, we're homeward bound. So that's a pretty simple one. Another quick and simple one goes like this. Trot, trot to Boston. Trot, trot to Lynn. Trot, trot to Salem. Home, home again. So that one's pretty easy to memorize. And then the last one, um, it's fun because it gets progressively bouncier. So this might be good for older babies or toddlers. And it goes like this. This is the way the ladies ride. Flip, flop, flip, flop, flip, flop. This is the way the gentlemen ride. A gallop and trot, gallop and trot, gallop and trot. This is the way the farmer rides. Hobble be hoy, hobble be hoy, hobble be hoy. And it's kind of silly, but by the end, your child will be giggling, especially if they're older and they really like those lap bounces. My son really liked that one when we got to the end, and it was quite bouncy. So those are some fun lap bounces. Um, the next thing I'm going to show you is some action rhymes. So the first one goes to the tune of Here We Go Around the Mulberry Bush, which most people know. Um, and I like this because you can put it to almost anything. So if you're helping your child get ready for bed or get ready in the morning, you can use this song. So you could say, this is the way we brush our teeth, brush our teeth, brush our teeth. This is the way we brush our teeth so early in the morning. Or at nighttime, if you're taking a bath, you could say, This is the way we take a bath, take a bath, take a bath. This is the way we take a bath before we go to bed. Something like that. Um, and you can put almost any um, action you want to that tune. And it's kind of fun. Sometimes it can help maybe reduce a little fussiness or just have it be a fun sing-along as you're doing those um, self-care items that, you know, you need to do every day, brush your hair and brush your teeth and stuff like that. Um, the next one is going to be a, I'm going to have to stand up and show you this rhyme. Okay. All right, so this one's called the Grand Old Duke of York, and you might have heard this, and this is a fun marching one for toddlers and preschoolers, and it goes like this. The Grand Old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill, and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. So it's kind of a lot of action. They can jump. And you could do that with a young baby in your lap and then just lift them up with the up and down part. And the next one is called Toast in the Toaster. And preschoolers really like this one. Uh, they want to do it over and over again. So you can do it while you're actually waiting for your toast to pop up, or you can just do it anytime for fun. And this is how it goes. We're going to be toast in the toaster. Ready? Toast in the toaster, getting very hot. Tick tock, tick tock, up it pops. And like I said, it's really short and really simple, but they'll want to do that again and again because they find it fun. All right, our next set are just some finger plays. And this one I got from Jayberry, and it's called Zoom, Zoom, Zoom. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. In five, four, three, two, one, blast off! And again, if you have a young child, they can squat during the countdown and jump up for blast off. Or a young baby, you could just have them in your lap and do the countdown and then blast off up into the air. So that's kind of a fun one. Two other finger plays, these are a little bit calmer, um, are here is a nest for a robin, here is a hive for a bee, here is a hole for a bunny, and here is a house for me. So 
So that's a good one when you're talking about different animal homes. And it's just a fun, simple finger play. One I like to do with babies that I did in one of my other videos goes like this. It's good if you have a young baby you're holding in your arms because you only need one hand. And it goes, I saw a little bunny go hop, hop, hop. I saw his two ears go flop, flop, flop. I said, little bunny, won't you stay? But he just looked at me and he hopped away. That's another one. And the last set I have for you, um, you'll probably know this one. It's just Itsy Bitsy Spider. Everyone does this one. But this is great for fine motor skills. So you can do your spider like this, which is a little bit complicated, especially for younger kids. Um, you can just have them do this or crawl their spider up the spout or just wiggle their fingers. It doesn't matter. Itsy Bitsy Spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain, and the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the spout again. It's a classic, and that's always a good one. It's got good rhymes and good finger movement. Um, another classic you might know is, where is Thumpkin? And kids like this one, because you're kind of hiding behind your back. Where is Thumpkin? Where is Thumpkin? Here I am, here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run and play, run and play. And then you can do it with each finger and then the whole finger family. Um, and the last one I have is just a simple peekaboo one that you can do with a young baby if they're in front of you. You could just say, peekaboo, peekaboo, I see you, I see you, I see your tiny nose, I see your tiny toes, I see you, peekaboo. All right, that's it. So I hope you found some fun uh, finger plays or rhymes to do with your baby, toddler, or preschooler. There's a lot more out there you can look up, but maybe that will get you started and just have fun. See you next time. Bye.